Windsor West MPP Sandra Pupatello was emotional Hello. as she Hi, talked about watching? leaving politics Hello. after 16 Hello. years. Hello. The current Hello. Minister of Economic Hello. Development Hello. and Trade Hello. says she'll miss Hello. getting Hello. to share Hello. the big Hello. investment Hello. announcements Hello. with Windsor Hello. residents. Ultimately, you win things and it's never things that you're going to take home personally for yourself. But frankly, it's for your community or it's for the province. Uh, I get pretty excited about that. When I get a call saying that we've landed an investment, she says she's surprised at the reaction to her announcement from international CEOs. It's probably because I got used to it already in my own mind. So the emails and where they're coming from and the people is actually quite shocking. Uh, some of the CEOs <coughs> outside of Canada who are sending me emails who are dumbfounded, um, that, it's actually kind of fun uh, to see that because that tells me that uh, we did establish great relationships with these international companies. Pupatello's uh, husband Jim Bennett joined her as she talked about her exit with reporters at the Fogelar Furline Club. He says he's very proud of her and everything she's accomplished for Windsor. Oh, I, I don't think it's describable. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm quite uh, proud of what she's done. And earlier, somebody asked her uh, what does she like about uh, the job the most. Uh, and I think that I can easily say that because it's, for her, it's, it's doing the deal, getting the job done. It's almost like if it's if we're a business person trying to put together deals, doing deals for the province, and doing deals for the city and the riding. That's what really, really turns around. The announcements are like the, the icing on the cake. Pupatello has been re-elected in Windsor West four times since 1995. She says she doesn't have anything else lined up yet, but will likely look at employment in the private sector. Melanie Borelli, Blackburn News.